So we're here at the uh, Magico Room, or Rooms as it happens, and Magico has an interesting new subwoofer that they're introducing, and Peter McKay is going to tell us about it. Thank you, Tom. Pleasure to chat with you. And uh, as you mentioned, Peter McKay, that's my name, and I'm the VP of Global Sales. So uh, the world is really small. I get to travel around it. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. And what makes my job easier is, is presenting products like the Magical S Sub. Um, this enclosure actually came out in 2016. And what we're showing today is a new upgraded version. So we're using the same enclosure. But what we've added, Tom, is a, a new 12-inch driver with a massive motor structure, uh, new cone material, new surround. And we've also included inside uh, a new purpose-built uh, power amplifier stage, which is 2,400 watts. Um, it's a new crossover with a new newly developed DSP control. Another new thing that we've introduced is a screen here for three presets. Because a lot of people listening to stereo will have one setting and then roll over to home theater. They can just engage that different setting for home theater uh, wow factor. OK. Um, and is this amplifier module in each sub? Yes. So I get two of these. So if I ran two, which might be the recommended configuration? Always. Uh, so always use two. I'm really running 4,800 watts. Did I do the math right? Well, it's, it's 2,400 per enclosure. So right. what you can do, if you're using a single sub, you can feed left and right in, and it will sum to mono. So okay. you're using that. You're so using I can this. use a single sub. Yes, you can. But okay. we always recommend equal pressurization in the room, left and right. And because of the setup process, we're recommending a microphone calibration using the Dayton Audio V2 measurement system. So we take a look at the main loudspeakers that are running full range, and we feed the base element of the sub into the sound field of the S speaker or whatever the main speaker might be, S series, A series. So we run main, left and right, full range. We take a look at any room anomalies that might exist in uh, the analysis process of the main speaker. We look for problems and correct it with the subwoofer and the DSP control. So there's DSP crossover. control doing the correction. Uh, yes. Crossover curves are set in DSP? Correct. Okay. Correct. And I can do equalization in DSP? Is that? You, there's no equalization. Um, we're using, well, there's a multitude of, of crossover settings, uh -huh. slope factors, and you can look at specific frequency points and make adjustments from those points ah, in the okay. crossover. Okay. So, so if I found out that I had an emphasis at 51 hertz, mm -hmm. could I dial that back somehow? Yes. Okay. Yes. And you can select slope factors, crossover, Butterworth, Bethel, Bessel, Linkwitz Riley. All of those selections of crossover types are built into ah, the. So if the native frequency response of the main speakers in the room was like a low slope yes. decline, yep. happens to be what I have right now, mm -hmm. that's why it's fresh in my mind, then I could choose a lower slope crossover Correct. type. Is that yeah, all, that's a simple version. All of those shape, shaping, uh, slope factors, all of that is inclusive in the, uh, in the setup parameter. Got it. So it's a Magico DSP uh, software you would load into your laptop and lay that into uh, the OmniMic um, platform, which you would bring up and, and analyze the main speaker and then look at the sub and then blend the two together. And do you do that manually, or is a curve created somewhere and you do it? You do it man in manually in in the in the crossover settings um, that are provided in the um, DSP control. Okay, so there's a DSP control application that I'm running. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So you can see that clearly on the screen. You can see what 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 where the graph runs, and look at any problem points and correct for those in the DSP control. Got it. And is there any reason I couldn't use these subs if I had another brand of main speakers? Oh, no, you can use these with, with anything. Magico, XYZ, loudspeakers, not a <laughs> Shall problem. Shall remain nameless loudspeakers. <laughs> uh -huh. 
Yeah. 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 But you know, we always say that not every loudspeaker needs a subwoofer, but every room does because rooms are can be problematic. Certainly in the low frequency arena where there's standing waves and issues. So this, this is a really important idea and I don't want to go too extended on this, but I'm very interested in this. It seems like part of your philosophy here is because low frequencies are so hard in real rooms, I might want to use a sub almost as a corrective element to the errors of the room, not because I just want to explode my head with dinosaur footfalls. Exactly, exactly. The whole concept behind a, a subwoofer that's properly set up is to linearize the bass output of the main speaker system. That's all you want to do. And we demonstrate that in systems. Uh, at this show, we have the Luxman room with the S5 Mark II mm -hmm. and, heard the, it. and the Q-Sub 15. And oftentimes, we'll turn the main amps off. Is the sub on? Yep. And you'll only feel it at the appropriate time. Yeah. So it's not overwhelming the sound field of the main left and right speaker. So proper setup, that's why we've spent a lot of time in engineering a, a crossover system with DSP control to marry the subwoofer into the sound field of the main event. And it works beautifully. Got it. Well, thank you. That's an exciting product. Uh, remind me again of the price point. Uh, 18000 for per. Per sub. Okay. Correct. Excellent. That was great. Thank you, Peter. Right. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you. it. Pleasure. Just a brief interruption, esteemed viewers. As you may know, I'm Tom Martin, Chief Content Officer of The Absolute Sound. We have a new product. It's on the Substack platform, and we're going to do some interesting things with Substack, first of which is reader questions and answers. Each Monday, readers will submit questions, we'll pick the most interesting ones, and we'll answer the questions on Friday. We'll also have early access to articles and special blogs that don't appear anywhere else. We hope you'll join us. It's only a cost of a cup of coffee per month. Just check on the screen or in the show notes below. Thanks, and now back to the show.